Hey everyone, it's JJ from Flamora here to empower your inner video creator and yes, you guessed it, we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comment section of our videos! Whew, that was a lot to say. So before we start, why not subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, as well as hit that bell button so you're always notified on our next video releases. Alright, so we have some questions today and I can finally use this basket because it's the season to use it, finally, woohoo! All right, so let's get into our first question. So this question is from Addy and Jimmy. Any way to buy the packs individually like we used to without having to pay each month? All right, so for film stocks, you do have to have a subscription in order to use and download the effects. However, for a limited time, there are some individual packs that you can purchase individually. So I can go ahead and link that in the description box below so you can check out the individual packs that you can buy at film stocks. The next question is from Seth is Optimus. Can you please add the increasing levels of the volume in sound more than 6 dB? All right, so thanks for sharing. This is something that our team is aware of. However, there is a quick fix for this, and I will go ahead and show you that in Film 9. Check this out. Take the audio file that you want higher than 6 dB and copy it. Paste it onto the audio track below the original and sync it up. And that's all you have to do to make sure it's louder than 6 dB. But make sure you adjust the volume accordingly so it's not too loud. So, this next question is from Hey Woon Yoon. Could you do a tutorial on speed ramping, please? I love your videos. Aw, oh, thanks. Um, so yes, we do have a tutorial on um, speed ramping in Filmora Pro, which I will link in the description box below, or you can watch it up here. Check it out, somewhere. So this next question comes from Kelvin Flores. A question, JJ. Is it your voice that translates the videos of the Filmora channel into Spanish? Uh, so actually, no. The voice is actually Anna from the Spanish marketing team. Say hello, Anna. Hola, hola. So yeah, hola, hola. No, it was. It's not me. I don't speak Spanish. I wish I did though. All right. So this next question comes from Satyan Arayan de Barma. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's a really cool and very long name. <laughs> All right, so hey guys, any discounts on Filmora 9 on this holiday season? If you haven't already heard, we are holding a Vlogmas contest, which includes some discounts for Filmora 9 licenses and film stocks. So you can go ahead and check out the details in the Vlogmas contest page, which I will link in the description box below. Check it out. And um, why don't participate in Vlogmas? You can win an iPhone 11, it's pretty cool. Next question comes from Rajesh Vilapon? Vilapon. Rajesh Vilapon. Mm. Hello, JJ. I'm Raj. Hi, Raj. How can we make a particular portion of a video blur, like a blurred face? All right, so you can blur portions of your video in Filmora 9 um, using the mosaic tool, which I can go ahead and show you right now. Check this out. Under the effects tab in the utilities folder, you will find the mosaic feature. Just add this feature to the clip you want and a box will appear in the preview window. You can now move the blurred box around to where you want to blur an object or face. If you double click the blurred box, you can also adjust the blur type, amount, and opacity. That's how you can blur a face or object in Filmora 9. Pretty cool. And really helpful if you want to blur like um, sensitive content, like you know license plates or personal information that you have in your vlog videos. Really helpful. So go ahead and check that out and give it a try. All right? Okay, so this next question comes from Mr. Usama. All right, I have a question. I record poetry videos and I want to add sound in the background. I want to, when I read the poetry, the music volume goes low and when I take space for the next phrase, the music volume gets louder in that gap. Uh, was the easy method to do that? Um, to continue this procedure. All right, so first of all, poetry videos, super cool. That's really, really awesome. You can adjust the volume of your voice and your music using audio keyframes. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do that right now. With your audio clip and music in the timeline, double click on the music track to open up the audio editing options. In the timeline, find the points where you want your music to be lower and add an audio keyframe. You can add a keyframe by clicking the keyframe button beside the volume slider in the audio options. 
Once you have your point ready, just move the audio line down on your audio track to lower the volume. You can do the opposite if you want to increase the volume of your music as well. And there you go. That's how you can edit if you have audio from your video as well as from music. Simple, right? Give it a try. Let us know how you like it and see if it works because I'd really like to see that these poetry videos. That's really cool. And that's all the questions that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to keep asking your questions because I want to answer more of them in next episodes in the new year. So happy holidays, happy new year, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.